Welcome to day three of Video Ninja, where we talk about the command center or director panel in depth. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add the director as a performer or participant to the group chat. The director to guest communication and then scenes, working with various scenes throughout Video Ninja and OBS Studio and how you can configure them. Let's get started. Now for a quick interruption. A huge shout out to our friends at Veeam for sponsoring this episode. Veeam Backup for AWS can easily protect all of your Amazon EC2, RDS, and VPC data. Wait a second, they can protect my VPC data too? Yep, that's right. Simplify AWS backup and recovery while ensuring security and compliance. All right, now back to our episode. Some of the things that I have set up. I have a Chrome browser and I went to video.ninja where I'll be creating a room as a director. I also am using Firefox with a separate camera to show you what guests look like. If you open video.ninja, enter a room name, and for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not gonna add a password, but I don't recommend doing that in the future. Now you have a few options. The guest can see the director, but not other guest videos, and then the director will be performing as well or appearing in group scenes. For this video, I checked off the director will be performing as well and appearing in group scenes. Now let's enter the room's control center in the director's role. Afterwards, I've added two guests to the director panel. For each guest, I'm gonna mute the speaker, not the microphone, because I wanted you to see how the audio looks in OBS Studio. I'm using Firefox for my other video source. Back within Chrome within the group chat, notice how both of the guests are showing up. Let's go back to the director panel and I'll show you some additional things. How about we send a message to one of our guests? If you click on message, type hello, send the message, back over to my Firefox, notice that it says director, hello. Works out pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, let's head back to our director panel and let's see what solo talk looks like. Now, if you wanna perform solo talk as a director, don't forget to enable your audio. I showed you how this is done in video two, so take a look at that and you can go from there. I won't be enabling it for this, but I wanted to show you that it is available. Close that out. What does highlight guests look like? Click on highlight, go to the group chat, and only that guest is available. This is actually really unique because it allows you to highlight as a speaker view. So if you look at other conferencing tools, when a speaker is talking, they might pop up immediately on the screen. I'll show you what that looks like within OBS Studio in a moment. Uncheck highlight guest, and let's go on from there. Now let's add the group scene to OBS Studio. Don't forget that this scene is scene zero. Click copy group scene, head on to OBS Studio, and I already have a scene set up, but I wanna add a browser source. If you click on add browser source, and then paste the URL in below, I'll change the width or height to 1920 by 1080, and then check off control audio via OBS and click okay. Okay, now we have our group scene. Notice the audio levels are moving for this tutorial. I'll show you what mute in scene looks like as well. Let's head back to the director panel and let's play around with scene one or scene two and how we can have certain guests in certain scenes. Head back over to video.ninja in our director panel. Once you're in the director panel, for my second guest, I'm gonna click off the button that says add to scene one. Now, how does that work within OBS Studio? Let's take a look. Head back to OBS Studio and we'll add another browser source. We'll call that scene one. Let's paste the URL in here. We'll change the width and height and check off the audio source. Before I click OK, let's take a look at the URL and how do we note that this is gonna be scene one showing up? Right here, it says scene. It doesn't say scene equals. By default, everybody's dropped into scene zero. If we just enter scene equals one, now we're specifying what participants we want in each scene. After you enter scene equals one, click okay, and let's see what it looks like. Perfect, now I only have one participant showing up within scene one. Notice that the audio levels are still going because we have both scenes active. Let's see what it looks like when we mute within a scene. Let's head back to video.ninja and the director panel and mute the guests. I'll do that for both of my guests just so you can see that the audio levels will drop for each. After I clicked on mute, 
Back in OBS Studio, notice that the audio levels are not moving. Pretty good. Maybe you need to mute background noise. Something's causing an issue. Wherever it is, you have full control. Now, there are additional scene options available to you. Not only can you do scene zero, one, two, but if you look at the director panel, there's additional ones that go all the way up to eight. Back in the director panel, click on more scene options, and you have scene three, four, five, six, seven, and eight available. Full control on who and what you want in which scene. I'll click on unmute the guest. I'll leave my other guest in scene one, but now what if I want the first guest in scene one as well, but I don't want them in scene two. You can click multiple scenes. Click on add scene one, and we're gonna add this guest to scene two and see what that looks like and control it from the director panel and you don't have to control it from OBS Studio. Though you can do it from either or creating multiple scenes or options and move things around using the customizable link. Click on add to scene two. Now remember, I still have the URL copied to my clipboard. If you don't, click on copy link. Head back over to OBS Studio. We added another browser source called S2. Drop in that link and then change the scene to scene equals two. Don't forget to change the width and height. Perfect. Now I'm available within scene two and just this guess. I can move plenty around. I can change and add scenes. Whatever I'm viewing for the live stream or within OBS Studio, that's what's actually being visible and available to you within Video Ninja. Okay, let's disable scene one and two so we get back to our group chat and see what the highlight guest looks like within OBS Studio. Disable scene two and one. Now we have our group chat. Head back to the director panel. Click on highlight guests for one of the guests. I'm gonna do it for this one. Head back to OBS Studio and notice that I can control one guest and highlight them specifically within a scene and I don't have to change scenes around, I don't have to change OBS Studio around. This concludes Video Ninja Director Panel or the Command Center. If you like this, head on over to my YouTube channel for more videos around Video Ninja.